Good day, brothers and sisters in Christ. I welcome you to this session in which we share the verse of the day. And this verse of the day is taken from Matthew chapter 25, 34b, which says, Come, O blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Brothers and sisters, the verse above is from the part of Matthew's gospel that deals with issues around eschatology in the gospel. In other words, issues relating to the end times for which Christians are supposed to be preparing themselves. The Gospel of last Sunday is a parable of preparation and readiness, the parable of the ten virgins. Today, the Gospel is about issues relating to the events of the end itself, when both those who are prepared and those who are not will be judged before the throne of God's kingdom. Come, O blessed of my Father! This statement invites those who have shown readiness to become participants in God's eternal reward and glory. The word blessed in the expression blessed of my father comes from the Greek word eulogeo, which means to praise, but it can also mean to speak well of something. The verb as used in the passage is passive, eulogomenoi. That means we are not just speaking of someone who is speaking well of another, but rather one who is spoken well of by another. In other words, those described as blessed of my father are those spoken well of by the father who praised their benevolence and charity, manifested in their kindness towards others, especially the most vulnerable and the weakest brothers and sisters in their midst. We can as well translate this verse in this manner. Come, all you who have been spoken well of by my father, if one speaks well of another, it is because there is an action to which that speech refers. There is a particular attention to the action of the blessed in this passage. While the passage makes reference to the reward given by the Father, the Greek word, eulogemenoi, that is blessed, underlines the action of the blessed for which the Father speaks well of. That action we know is charity to the weakest people in our midst. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you, another part of our verse. While other Gospels may use the expression kingdom of God, Matthew appears to be more comfortable with the expression kingdom of heaven. This expression kingdom of heaven is copious in Matthew, and there is no doubt that this expression has a more eschatological weight in the Gospel. Kingdom of God may refer to God's reign both here and in the hereafter, but kingdom of heaven, as we see in Matthew and in this verse, gives the impression that the kingdom in question is the type that will come in a world that comes after this. In the parable of the kingdom in the gospel, the parables of the kingdom, we could see that one of the qualities of this kingdom is that it is a precious place to which the disciples should aspire. The precious nature of the kingdom is seen in such parables as the parable of the hidden treasure or the parable of the fine pearls. Therefore, Matthew invites his audience in this passage to appreciate the reward that awaits all those who have shown the requisite readiness to inherit that kingdom. These people will be rewarded with a precious gift which is reserved only for those who are prepared, who have prepared themselves for it. It is imperative to underline that the criterion of this preparation according to this gospel and according to this passage and this verse is charity. And not just any sort of charity, but charity for the most vulnerable and the weakest in our midst. This charity is what will merit the blessed, the praise of the Father, who ultimately gives that reward. This verse invites us to appreciate the Father's assessment of the human person, who comes before his throne of judgment. For one to be blessed, one needs to pay attention to charity, especially to the weakest. That is the principal criterion on which we shall be judged. Charity shall give us, grant us eternal reward which is precious. Every one of us should pay attention to how much attention we give to the weakest people in our midst because this is the criterion upon which we shall be judged on the last day. Let us pray. We thank you, O God, for the wonder of your creation and for the love you constantly bestow on us as your creatures. Grant us the grace to constantly share this love with others, especially the most vulnerable in our midst, so that we can inherit your kingdom. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen.